Hey there, all you biohackers out there. It's Awaiti Lightheart from Bioptimizers, and I've been asked to contribute a little bit to how to maintain a healthy gut and immune system uh, as part of the Biohacking Summit. We're grateful to be a participant in this online summit, as of course, uh, many of you know, the world's going through a lot of challenges, and I want to salute everybody who's you know, connected to the biohacking community. I think we're very well positioned not only to protect ourselves during the current uh, conditions, but also to serve as leaders in our collective communities and demonstrate to people that there are ways to improve your health, your vitality, your immunity. And of course, in regards to us, digestion, of course, uh, Bioptimize is a company. Uh, we were invited out to the Bi Biohacking Summit last year. We had a great time. We met a lot of you. Uh, it was super fun and I can't wait for the next one which is coming up this summer I know it's been pushed back a little bit and another one late in the fall in Finland one out in Amsterdam but we're going to be there and we're going to connect with the stories and to help contribute to this incredible community um, the gentleman running it uh, Timo and Edward they'd asked if I would uh, share some of the insights of how you can maintain a, a healthy gut and immune system because a lot of your immunity is actually based in your gut. And so before I get started on that, I want to give you a few quick uh, overrun, re recognize how digestion works. There's basically five main stages. The first one is the taste, touch, smell, feel your food, and then bring it into the body that sets up the actually sensory response. So I would encourage you not to eat in front of screens because that switches you uh, out, of, out of your, you know, into your relax from your relaxed state into a fight or flight. So that's because of the stimulation. So that's one thing that is very helpful uh, as a kit go uh, starter, not to be eating your food in front of screens. Second thing that I would suggest and recommend it, you go to that second stage of digestion, you start to masticate and chew your food. So make sure you chew your food well, and then food goes down the esophagus into the upper cardiac portion of the stomach. Now, right there is where the natural enzymes present in the food are supposed to break things down. Now, unfortunately, for most people, most humans, we're the only species on the planet that cooks its food. Now, I know many of the biohackers are eating foods, superfoods, raw foods, uh, foods in their natural states, but anytime you do cook them, anything over 114 degrees destroys the enzymes. And according to Dr. Edward Howe, the godfather of the enzyme, uh, kind of conversation who wrote a book called Enzymes for F F uh, Health and Longevity, Food Enzymes for Health and Longevity, as well as Enzyme Nutrition. He allocated and indicated that every uh, species on the planet has what he calls a enzymatic bank account. And anytime you eat cooked food, you're drawing on your enzymatic bank account. Enzymes are responsible for everything from thinking to blinking. So that first stage, the enzymes present in the food after mastication in the warm environment of the body, and the water component are supposed to start breaking down and working on that. Now, if those enzymes aren't present, your body will start to manufacture enzymes, but digestion will not be complete or as efficient as it would have been had you been consuming enzymes either in the food or with the food. The next phase of digestion is a very important stage. This is when the hydrochloric acid comes into the mix. That's about 30 to 60 minutes after you initially begin chewing the food. Now, what happens here is uh, hydrochloric acid serves as a two-fold product. Number one, it is a disinfectant. Uh, it kills off uh, parasites, viruses, bacteria, uh, pathogens that can enter into the body. And unfortunately, the average 40-year-old has less than 30% of the hydrochloric acid production uh, across the board, which is actually part and parcel the same with enzymatic production. Uh, inside the body, which is very interesting. Now, keep in mind, it's a single canal from your mouth to your bum. And the reality is, is how you digest, absorb, and utilize the food is determined by these factors, enzymes, hydrochloric acid, and probiotics. We're going to get to that in a minute. So the second part after the disinfecting component is the hydrochloric acid serves as another piece as, as it breaks down the product is it changes the pH of that food chime, moving it from an, an alkaline state into an acidic state to a highly acidic state. Now, during that time, many of the key enzymes will be activated or deactivated depending on the pH level. And that's why if you're looking for an enzyme formulation, you definitely want something that's high in proteolytic enzymes and something that has both protease 3.0, 4.5, and 6.0, which correlate 
to the band that of pH that those enzymes become active in. After that, the food chime will now exit the stomach and there's something called bicarbonate buffers, which is a fancy name for minerals, uh, alkaline minerals, which will buffer the acids because if you're not able to buffer the acids, if you don't have enough uh, minerals present in the body, that's when you can get, you know, spillover and uh, you get uh, burn marks and you get the ulcers, uh, like duodenal ulcers, for example, which are very damaging or very health threatening to the body if you don't have the proper uh, buffering of that acid. Incidentally, um, we can talk about some of the contraindications. I'm going to go through this and I'll talk about the points that come through. The food chime will then travel into the next phase, which is the intestinal tract where your microbiome or your gut flora are present and they complete the digestive process. In fact, it's a symbiotic relationship. Without these bacteria, we wouldn't live. And I always say there's 10% good, 10% bad, and 80% opportunists. Anywhere from two to 500 strains. And your health is going to be determined or the uh, so complete profile of these are going to be determined by the diet that you follow. Therefore, that's why when you switch from one diet to another diet, oftentimes there's an adjustment phase as some of these bacteria cultures will die off and some of these good ones will come on. One of the big things that most people can do to enhance their good bacteria is to have a highly fibrous diet. Uh, particularly things like asparagus and artichokes are excellent for providing the type of fibers that your healthy, good bacteria will live, exist, and thrive upon these colonies. So that's always a good uh, caveat to ensure that you're making sure those high fibrous uh, prebiotic fibers are present. There are some companies that make some prebiotic fibers that I think are excellent, and you can research the ones that are most appropriate for your diet. Keep in mind, my business partner, Matt, is a ketogenic guy and I'm a plant-based guy. We've both that for literally 20 years. Uh, we're dietary agnostic. What we are here to help you do is to optimize the diet based on your genetics and epigenetics. And then the final stage of digestion is the removal of the waste uh, inside the body. And so that's through peristaltic contraction, which will take the waste, whatever's left over, and move it out so that you have proper elimination. And I'm sure a lot of you have got the squatty potties and all that sort of stuff where you're very conscientious of that or doing the uh, breathing exercises that are associated with success, uh, you know, for uh, having proper elimination. Of course, Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, said that all disease begins in the gut, and he was referring to this digestive process. Now, where do the challenges come in in your digestion? Well, people who are experiencing uh, acid reflux and heartburn, oftentimes that's because they don't have enough production of hydrochloric acid. That's a big one. Uh, so causes of that are number one, uh, improper hydration, long-term dehydration. And I think as biohackers, most of us are uh, you know, conscientious of consuming enough water. That's not sodas and coffees and teas and juices and all that stuff. We're talking real water because water is an, an important contributor to the digestive process. The other thing is, is insufficient enzymes. So if you're having uh, gas and bloating or you're feeling that full feeling all the time after you probably not breaking down your food, you, you know, adding a high quality enzyme formulation uh, prior to eating or sprinkling in your food or mixing in your shakes will make a big difference. The other area is, uh, you'll notice, in, is the final stage, and this is where a lot of complications come for people, is a dysbiosis of bacteria. We live in a highly antibacterial, uh, antibiotic world. So anybody that's taken uh, a course or multiple courses of antibiotics oftentimes have a disruption in their good, bad, and ugly flora, and often they have too many bad guys. Why that's really critical to understand is that 95% of your neurotransmitters are actually built in your gut. So if you can't, for example, break down the protein and convert it into the essential amino acids that make the polypeptide chains to make the neurochemicals in your body, well then guess what? Uh, oftentimes that has to do with an imbalance of gut flora. And one of the best solutions to that is to have a uh, probiotic that actually breaks down and converts proteins into amino acids. There are very few um, bacteria cultures that do that, but adding that in has often seen 
big improvements in people's overall sense of well-being, their happiness, and, 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 and areas of that point, as well as not getting the gas and the flatulence. Because if you're not breaking down your proteins, what happens is the bad bacteria will feed on those and create uh, all sorts of um, gases like indol, skadol. They're literally pooping in your blood and, and that's what's coming out. So if you're waking up in the morning with the crusty eyes or brain fog um, or bad breath consistently, oftentimes this is the case that you have bad bacteria that are being So oftentimes an elimination diet in combination with enzymes, hydrochloric acid, and a quality uh, proteolytic probiotic become uh, essential in correcting that over a period of time. And we have found that it's usually about 90 days to do that. So um, I guess those are kind of some of the main things that you want to do. Uh, simple things that many of the biohackers will be doing that. But if you are uh, suffering from many one of these conditions, you know, if you have skin blemishes a lot, uh, brain fog, acid reflux or heartburn, constipation, gas or bloating, uh, or even diarrhea is oftentimes a form of uh, constipation where you're getting a constriction because of buildup of mucoid plaque, then you would want to be addressing that. Outside of that, there's other areas that could come in. For example, parasites, if you're getting grinding of the teeth at night, that's often a, a big issue for people or uh, uncontrollable sugar cravings. Uh, th those are often are, are craving for deep fat fried foods. Keep in mind, many of these organisms actually interact and hijack your nervous system to uh, accelerate cravings or make it difficult to stay on your program. And so there's a number of things that you can do. First and foremost, um, you can do a couple interesting tests. Uh, for hydrochloric acid to test, you can take a uh, quarter teaspoon of uh, baking soda, throw it in four ounces of water, quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon, and consume that. And if you burp, um, if you don't burp within five minutes, chances are you don't have enough hydrochloric acid. Uh, second of all, um, if you are having the gas and stuff, it's probably a dysbiosis in your immune system. Uh, also, heartburn acid reflux oftentimes is not caused from too much acids. It's not enough. Uh, and then, of course, virtually everybody in the modern world can do better by having a full-spectrum enzyme blend, particularly focusing on proteolytic enzymes because undigested proteins are one of the biggest causes of disease and dysfunction inside the body. So with all that, uh, those are kind of some interesting hacks. So uh, lots of hydration, no screens while you're eating, um, ensuring that using like a squatty potty or something like that to get uh, better elimination and better peristaltic contraction. You can do some breathing exercises that are uh, promoted on various websites. Uh, we also have that on our 12-week course, by the way, 12-week uh, Awesome Health course, which I'm going to give you the links to with this that you can access for free. It's literally uh, 12 weeks of five to 15 minute videos. You can kind of burn through them in a weekend if you want or take it out, stretch it out over a year if you want. Of all the little hacks and things that I use and I uh, share with my clients the things that I've learned over 25 years in the industry to make it very systematized to kind of optimize your health. It's not all about products or things like that. It's all about the practices that I and my clients do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, of course, we do have a special product offering. If people want to do it, they asked us if we would put that in here. Keep in mind what I am doing, I will say this as part of my immune boosting system under the current situations is I'm adding a, uh, I'm putting a silver in, uh, uh, this is a nebulizer, so it creates a mist that I inhale uh, into my lungs. I do that just for maybe 30 seconds a day. On other notes, um, I'm taking high levels of vitamin C. For most people, that means anywhere from three on the minimum size to anywhere to eight to 10 grams in divided dosages. If you are starting that, you can kind of dose up and all that. I'm uh, really focusing on hydration as well. Um, there's often types of good in, uh, mushroom immunity blends out there in the market that are great. And I highly suggest uh, following those things as well. They can be very helpful. But from the digestive health side, we have, of course, our uh, number one selling product, I actually you, uh, developed this in conjunction with my business partner and our uh, lab team almost, God, almost 15 years ago was our first version. Maybe it's a third version. It's uh, the most potent proteolytic enzyme formulation on the planet. We have five different proteases, 17 different types of enzymes, plus um, a product called Astrozyme, which enhances the functions of the enzymes anywhere from 30 to 50%, including an in conversion of proteins into amino acids at that 30 to 50% range. Very, very potent. It's basically will work with any given diet. And Matt and I are good examples. Again, he's a ketogenic guy. I'm a plant-based guy. 
Um, that's an overall something that you do uh, anywhere from one to five caps, depending on how big the meal looks like. If it's the gorge fest, it's five. Average meal will be three. If it's a snack, maybe one before you eat. Um, will be very, very enhancing in assisting in digestion. Or you can even sprinkle on the food or check out our website where we have steak. Uh, we actually show us digesting steak in a cup with that product in conjunction with our hydrochloric acid. This is um, HCL Breakthrough, which is uh, a very unique customized blend that we've put together. We use uh, all uh, hydrochloric acid derived from beets, but we also combined it with uh, a variety of enzymes to enhance its performance, as well as the bicarbonate buffers, that's a fancy name for alkaline minerals, to go into the body to ensure as you're exiting the, the digestive tract that you have those minerals to buff for that acid. It's a fantastic product. And probably the one that's most underrated out there, it's not a sexy product per se, but the one that I find that most people provide uh, or experience dramatic break, breakthrough on benefits from right off the bat. And then our third product is our P3OM. And this is a patented probiotic. It's right now we're selling like hotcakes. And the reason is, is we took a strain of L plantarum, uh, which is a very aggressive strain. We threw it in a toxic soup, uh, ran a sine wave through it. And then the survivors of that, we uh, grew on very special mediums. And what that patent was able to demonstrate is this unique strain of probiotics is antiviral, antiretroviral, it's protolytic, it's been, um, it's, it's truly extraordinary. That's not me making those statements, that's the US patent. So that's not a claim that I'm making. Um, but of course, it's antiviral and retroviral capabilities are very, very powerful. And a lot of people are very excited about that. We've been selling a lot of that lately. We're going to give you some discounts on it. Those are the three big factors. I'm going to put the fourth finger up. But those are the three things that I think are best. As ancillary products, if you're on a ketogenic diet or want more energy, um, a Capex was a product developed by my business partner, Matt, who's been on the ketogenic diet for a while. It has both uh, four different lipases, which it focuses on that being able to break down virtually any kind of fat that you would consume with those high fat diets, as well as our unique uh, tri uh, enzyme blend as well. It's got a bile stimulator. It also has a uh, carnitine, L-carnitine to transport fats into the cell. And it also has a unique product called 7-Keto DHEA, which is enhances the efficiency and productivity of your mitochondria. And so I, I'm not on a ketogenic diet, but I take four of those every morning when I get up for increased energy and performance and focus. And of course, I'm doing uh, every other day, uh, alternate day fasting right now. And the only thing I take on my fasting day is for those caps. Uh, very, very powerful. Um, for specialty products, we do have uh, Herbal Paracleanse. It's going to be actually be renamed very soon because we are, are going to be able to make a statement with the Canadian government. We just had a, this approved that it is effective against uh, tapeworm and ringworm. That's uh, determined by Health Canada. That's not a claim that we can make in all countries, but if it works in Canada, it probably works in other places as well. And then for those people who are suffering from temporary constipation, um, our Consti Cleanse is a combination of herbs that has been shown to accelerate the removal. So really great if you've been traveling or that sort of thing uh, in order to you know, get things moving, sure to say, because I always say, get your number ones to number two. Uh, as a special deal uh, that we have for people today, uh, I want to encourage if you go to, um, you can go to bioptimizers.com biohacker summit, you'll get a sign up link for our free awesome health course. It's a 12 week program, as I said, five to 15 minutes. That's our gift to you that you can enjoy and learn more about all the specifics. I got illustrations so that you can actually see how things work. I go into detail that you can look at and all the little hacks that I do on a day to day basis. And for um, either our North American or our EU listeners, if you go to our website, you should put HACK10. So if you're in Europe, go to L-I-V-E-H-E-L-F-I.com. So that's livehealthy.com, and you will get a 10% discount code. That's HACK10. We'll be able to do that. In North America, you can go to bioptimizers.com, put in HACK10, You'll also get a discount on any of our products. Uh, we also have some other things, vitamins, minerals. We have an amazing magnesium product. Uh, we also are coming out with a new Cogni Biotic, which is a combination of Chinese herbs 
as well as the probiotics that actually produce the neurotransmitters in your body. So uh, lots of great things happening at Bioptimizers, lots of great things happening at the Biohacking Summit. And I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, reach out to our team. By the way, our customer service agents are very well trained. They're uh, there to handle and answer all your questions. And any questions that they can't handle are actually answered by me personally. I think I'm now up close to 8,000 questions I've answered in the last few years uh, because I love hearing your feedback, finding out what your challenge is, and helping you overcome them. That's what we pride ourselves in and with by optimizers as well as making the best in class or first in class premium products that are will meet the standards that you demand. That's why we have such a great money back guarantee. If we don't aren't able to fix your digestion, uh, we'll give you your money back uh, for the product that you tried. So that's a great promise. Again, check out those two websites, Biohacker 10. Uh, that will get you the 10% discount code. And look, I know that the event got uh, postponed a little bit this year, but we're going to see you this summer in August in Amsterdam and of course in the fall uh, up in Finland. Uh, please stop by our booth. I look forward to connecting with you, hearing your stories, uh, meeting you and, and, and being part of this incredible community. And I also want to thank uh, Edward and I want to thank Timu for putting on such a great event and, you know, really leading the charge. And I encourage you that during this challenging time that we're facing is to uh, be that, you know, shining light in your community that's demonstrating for other people that there is a way out of this whole thing and that your health is something that not only uh, can you enhance, but you can bolster yourself to give yourself the best fighting chance under whatever condition it is. So uh, I'm Waitie Lightheart. I uh, want to thank you from all the Bioptimizer team, our whole family to you. Uh, keep safe, keep healthy, and we'll see you at the next summit. Take care.